Hi, Mike with you. Uh, just came out of the Goodwill and Gorham. In the tall, tall grass. Just about a child who's looking through the glass, grass and sees these insects and different things like that. Uh, it has a good night on the end. I read books. <coughs> My wife and I read books to our granddaughter in Germany. One of our granddaughters. Uh, Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? So this is a, a thing where they eat, they eat, see something and then that sees something. So it's kind of a, that looks like it'd be interesting to read. I had lived greatly on these books, do voices and everything. Uh, oh, and then I got this. It's funny, this is all I assume in Japanese or Chinese writing, made in China, and uh, it's a slicer and a dicer. It looks to be really ruggedly made, and it has the uh, it has the hand guard thing. I've noticed a lot of times, you know, the cooking shows. Maybe this is considered you're not a good cook if you use something like this, but uh, here's some of the interchangeable blades that you can put in it. Oh, so they're all here, I didn't check that beforehand. But uh, you have this. So this is what you're actually holding on to while you're, uh, you do it right, while you're slicing. And uh, that's good because, uh, you know, anytime you can protect yourself from a blade I think it's a very good idea. You know, it's funny, it looks like, huh, it's, it's got a plastic guard over one of the knives, it looks like. I'll have to, well, there's probably no, no instructions, and if there were, it'd be uh, Chinese, but I'll investigate this. But it looks like to me that this is some kind of plastic guard that, uh, comes off, maybe not. Hey, if you know, let me know. But, uh, I don't know, make your own potato chips. What I liked about this one too is it appears to have some different uh, depths that you can uh, do. So according to this, you can do, uh, now it isn't just completely variable uh, uh, as far as thickness, which I probably, that might have been a good thing to do. I'm not sure, I'll check into it, figure it out. But uh, you can shred things, make uh, kind of like french fries with them. But then you have a 1.5 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter uh, uh, slicing thickness. And uh, I'm interested in giving that a try. Uh, I see right off there's a button here. Oh, this must be the button that takes out the uh, different cartridges that you can put in. So anyway, we'll investigate that thoroughly. Uh, you know, I'd like to be able to do, uh, I mean, we have some other slicing things at home, but this looked a lot better. But uh, I'd like to kind of do some more things with like maybe zucchinis or potatoes that you uh, slice them really thin. I don't know if 1.5 millimeters would be too uh, thick for, for uh, actually trying to make potato chips, but I found what I've done a couple times lately is I've just cut potatoes up thin and then I put a little oil in a pan and basically, uh, you know, fry them up just like that. So, uh, and they can come out good and you can do whatever spicing you want on them. Uh, it's funny though, oops, I didn't put the other blades back in. But you can see the, the different blades. Uh, and good, they're actually uh, written on. That's funny. That I must be putting that in backwards. Oh, that's how it's going. 
But anyway, hopefully it will work out fine. You can, you know, you can return things to goodwill, but I never do. If I if I get some, I I suppose if I have a broken camera before that, but uh, you know normally I just donate it back to them if it's something that still is good and it just isn't what I really wanted. So here we have, uh, these are some of the smaller things it makes. Uh, 1.5 millimeter slices of potatoes or whatever, squash, whatever you want to do. But then it does uh, these really small uh, things that you could use for hash browns and, and multiple other things. I think that would be a setting for carrots and coleslaw and things like that. So I'm going to experiment and try some things and we'll see how it goes.